pretty. It looks like lava. Oh. Oh. Hey guys, it's Steph and it's candle day. I'm excited. You guys know how I love to hoard candles and it wasn't till today that I realized I really have a problem. I went running around the house. I'm like, where have I stashed all the candles? I'm gonna try to melt them all down and put them in receptacles so I can just get them out and use them. Like this baby, for instance. Sure, it's got a little bit of hay and a little bit of, uh, I don't know, this was crafting stuff. This was from Michael's or Joanne, Michael's. Fall picnic. So I got two of these orange ones of these harvest. These are fall picnic, autumn walk. This is already off. This one smells good. Don't know the scent of this one, but this is nice. Got a couple little green ones that are freesia. I don't know what flavor, but it smells Christmassy kind of. Oh, holiday spice cake. Mm, okay. Like a corn candy for Steve looking one. Candy corn? I don't know. Mm, this smells like a harvest. This poor little guy. These ones always smell the best. Yum. So this is just, oh, it's cinnamon. That's cinnamon. Okay, cinnamon sparkle, specifically. Ready for the big box? Here we go. Okay. Yum. These are my favorite. Mmm. Gardenia right here. Ooh, that's beautiful. Got a big boy here. Mmm. Ooh. Nether gardenia. Nether gardenia. Yum. Another big one. This is... Mmm. I don't know if I like the smell. Baby powder sort of smell. I don't like that. Mmm. I don't know what this was. But that smells good. These don't look so great. Okay, this, I don't know what scent that is. Ooh, look at these. Patchouli and frankincense. That's what that is. Yum, definitely like a sugar cookie or something there. That smells good. I don't know, yum. Another one of those little ones, yum. I have a problem, huh? Mmm, that one's really good. That's kind of cotton maybe? Oh, it's freshwater pearl. I don't know. Mmm, this is yummy. Looks like chocolate. Mmm, yum. These are my favorite. Looks like they're absorbing other candles that touched them. Mmm. I don't know, some cinnamon one. Now these don't have a lot of scent. They're from Five Below. This one I'm gonna have to break out. Geranium and mint. There's so many candles here. How many candles do you think this is? 30? I gotta count them now that you ask. Okay. We've got 50, 50 candles. 50 candles. 50 candles. candles. Oh, and we didn't even count these. There's, I, didn't see I will oh, probably melt I didn't count there. those two tall ones. Okay, so we've got over 50 candles here. Look at this wow. stash here. Oh so many goodness. candles. Where are you gonna put them, you ask? Good question. Some of them I'm gonna chop up and melt down, yeah. but do you guys remember when we found these? These are so cool. This slides out of the, it, the inserts come out. Yeah, and I've always planned to make these, they're supposed to be planners, but plan to make them into candles. I think they're gonna be so cool. So, I think so too. fill this up with candle wax. It's gonna, it looks like a bullet. It's gonna hold a lot. And I can just sit them free, freely standing in the middle of the house. This bad wherever. boy might take 50 candles. So I'm gonna start chopping them up and I'm going to melt some of them down and then the ones that are chopped, some of them, like in that big one, I can just put like, I can lay this in wow. there and melt candle wax around it, you know? It's ready. Uh, but I do need to get wicks in them. The wicks that I have are wood wicks. Change. Elaine sent these, so I've got a bunch of these. And then I've got some from before, different lengths. So this is the longest wick that I have right here. They're wood wicks. And uh, they are so cool. When they burn, they crackle like a flame, like a fire place. So it's a real thin little thing. I got them off of eBay. Just stick them in there on a little teeny metal thing. Put a dab of glue in the bottom or you can just set them in there. I've sat them in there before without gluing them and they're fine. Like this cute little pink one, I'm probably going to put white in there. Whatever white ones I can find or maybe a red. I don't know. But this was just a vase I found. It's a little skeleton that needs a little refilling. Oh, here's another candle. I didn't even count. Um, this one I'm just was gonna burn in this, but I'm gonna fill this now because I need to get rid of some candles here because let's be honest, I'm looking like a hoarder. 
I was thinking about using this. I could put like three candles in there. You guys remember when we went to Costco and I saw these cute little bowls and they're so adorable. Look, the inside has a pattern. So this is gonna be filled with a candle. They were a dollar each is what they ended up being. It would be such a cute gift to give somebody. Since I've already got water boiling in my hot pot over here, we got it off a pallet. It was a rice cooker, I think, or maybe just a hot pot, I don't know. I have water boiling in there. I set the candle wax in there, it melts it down. I get two of them going. And since I already have an orange color in there right now, I'm gonna put start with an orange candle. Sounds smells spicy-ish. Ooh, that smells good. Okay, I think these would be fine together. Okay, so I'm starting out with the ones that I've already spent, you know, they're used. Some of them are so soft. I don't care about all these things on here. Anything on there at all, glass, whatever. It's just going in because it really doesn't matter. It's just gonna melt down to nothing. And whatever's left can be there over at the bottom. So I'm starting with the whites. Mmm, smells so good. Okay. These are a soft candle. So this is gonna be a white jar. This one's just about done. Um, so I can take pieces from it, stick them in here. You don't wanna cross smells, but when they've been out so long, like this one, and burned all the way, it doesn't have a lot of smell left. So whatever other one that I cut up into pieces, it'll take on that smell when it burns, so it'll be fine. By the way, there are tons of people who are expert candle makers. I'm not, I'm a total novice. I kind of just like to wing it, I do it on my own. My whole purpose isn't like to have them be beautiful, I don't sell them. They're just to lay around the house and use them because they're free and candles are expensive and I don't ever have to buy candles again if we keep dumpster diving and find them. It's a great way to repurpose, keep these out of the landfill, get some yummy use out of them. For my other jar over here, I've got one white going and I'm going to do an orange. And since I've got a lot of orange that are all kind of spicy, like they're either Halloween-y scents or maybe they're um, fall, I can definitely, um, and cinnamon -y, I can put these all together. Okay, since I'm making an orange, glue dots, they work so good for the bottom of these little sticks. Just stick them on there, they'll stick right to the bottom of any dish like this. Wouldn't that be cute with the orange? The green with the orange, with the orange on the inside. Since I have so much orange, I'm gonna do one of these big boys. And I have to keep it on the stand because it's gonna teeter around. I'm gonna do a triple wick in this, because that'll be fun. So, glue dot, three of them in there. And I'm just gonna set this in at an angle. And yeah, the bottom of this candle won't melt, but I don't care. I'm just gonna pour another one on top of it anyway. But I want them to be, um, you know, kind of in the center here. So it melts evenly, or as evenly as possible. Cool, I can fill this candle up pretty high. But that's how I'm doing it before I pour. So let's start building some candle. I should be doing this on the counter. I don't want this all over my floor. Oh my gosh, some of these candles below my nose smell so good. That looks pretty good. I think that's the most I can do here. Might have to make another batch of the wet stuff. Yep, I definitely have to. Okay, since I already have the uh, orange one cooking, I'm going to, and I got white already ready. I'm going to do one of these. Isn't it so cute on the inside? Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna do white in this one because I think white would be cute and it's already melted and ready. so pretty when it cools down. Woo! First one. That was really full. I better set it over here and not move it. Okay, let's do another one of those.
one over here is already starting to cool. Yay! Oh, that'll be pretty. Purple. one's already setting up. It's adorable. Woo! All the junk, by the way, just stays in the bottom. All the weird little pieces and glass and garbage, it just stays in the bottom of this and it never gets used. It'll just get poured in the trash at the very, very end. I think the orange is ready. So let's top this baby off. Yay! I use mason jars because I already know they're good for canning. I know some plastics aren't as good as others. Not plastics, but glass. Oh, come on, have enough. All right. That's going to dry and set up. It's going to be so pretty that I'll clean it up. And that'll be good. Let me get out of my way. Since this is cute and green with orange, I can use some more of the orange since I've got some more in there. You guys, look at how cute these are. Done. Oh my gosh, so adorable. I love it. It's gonna be like a surprise as it melts to see all the cute um, design on the inside. We're already on the orange. Let's keep going with orange. It is pouring outside. I gotta show you. Look at that. It is pouring out there. Got a lot of holes in this one to fill up. I decided to do a single, might regret it, but a single wick and um, do white. So that's the way I'm going with this one. Okay, so this candle's like that one I was talking about where it's a hard shell with like a smelly part encased on the inside. So they might be doing what I do. Um, pour your little candle and pour another one around it kind of with maybe the scent but mine's chunks, but I don't know how it works, but whatever it is, it makes it smell yummy. Pretty, it looks like lava. Oh, 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 oh no, that's gonna be a mess. Oh my gosh. I'm glad I put a wrap down on the counter. Who didn't see that coming? Tell me. I gotta clean this up. Here's my main concern. This is not gonna be fun to clean off. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Because <laughs> it's dry and you can really see it. <laughs> it's splashed on there. The main thing is, I don't wanna clean it up. I wasn't planning on this for today. <sighs> Steph, what have you done? 
Seriously, I do it all the time. I drop stuff all the time. I don't know why I'm surprised. I'm not surprised. Yeah, plastic razor blade will work on the cabinet. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh my gosh, what have I done? What have I done? Oh my gosh. Then I had to paint scrape the whole floor clean, cut it off. So this is what I'm thinking is it's gonna be a five wick candle and I'll put the little shorties, or actually I might have to double those all up too, along there. So it's gonna waste a lot, but this candle's gonna last a long time. And I can use it again and it's learning as I go. Oh my gosh, I don't know about this. What am I doing? That's a lot of candle in there. I got three or four candles in there so far. I'm melting the red and I was gonna do the red, but I better do some red candle on top. This is crazy. Are you doing science? <laughs> Feels like it. Cause that's, that sound, that sounds like a laboratory. This is really, it this really is, is like part. you're a scientist. Just you're wait just, for this. This is cool. You're a scientist. You continue, or I could put it all away and do it another rainy day. Good idea with the plastic sheeting on there. Oh yeah, can't wait for you to see what happens in this video. What? You'll see. Is there something under this plastic sheeting? No. Oh. Oh, these are nice. And you got your Costco. Remember when we were at Costco and you said, ooh, I can put candles in these? Do I remember? Well, you That's might have forgot. Them for. <laughs> these are nice. Aren't they cute? Yeah, it looks really nice. I don't know if they have good light, but these are cool. I remember those. Oh, and I've seen this terracotta, whatever it is. Here's Ooh, two the more. green ones are nice too. Wow, this guy is huge. I know. I like the fact that you're using these for this. It is really cool. I also have these. Oh my goodness! These What's up, little guy? I think. Don't these... think I didn't notice that. I know. Oh. That's the one I'm waiting on the last of it to boil. And this is a big one. Wow, Steph, you know how heavy this was already heavy. It's going to be, I don't know what wax weighs, but. It's heavy. There's a lot of candles in there. This looks like something you'd want to eat. Except I'm trying to make it red for you, but it's kind of pink. That was for me. Well, red's your favorite color. I know. So I like it with the black one. too. Bad news. These didn't melt. <laughs> I was going to pour, <laughs> see I put a little wick thing in the middle of each one. I was going to make a five wick and then pour melt one of these down, pour that around. Yeah, I'm glad you're using these for this. I know. And, and they got the stand. I know. That's it's gonna be so cool. And we can just have it freestanding in the house anywhere. You got one, two, three, four I stands. There's, huh? I think I've got enough. Whoa. Here. I like to see it. I hate to have those lumps Where in there. Where do I need to go? I don't want to be in the way. Let me see if I can stir the lumps out of there. Won't they just melt even if what if you pour lumps into a thing? It doesn't hurt it, does it? No, it would be fine, but I want it to be pretty on the top and non-lumpy. Because this one's mine. Mm hmm Thanks. You're welcome. It's your cauldron. It's my cauldron. That's what it sounds like in here. Wow, you are like a the candle queen. I don't know about that. Okay, here we go. Okay, I got you. Glad you're wearing a smock. Dumpster diving smock. Oh, that's, there you go. Hopefully this is enough. Very cool. Oh, that almost made me want to throw up for some reason. The lump? <laughs> yeah, what a lump. Look at, Steph, it's almost perfect height. Keep going. Wow. That is nice. That smells good. Fix these little guys. Okay, get your details done. This thing is a good 12 inches tall. And it's neat. Seven. I'm just happy these things are getting filled up. All right, well, good job. I'm proud Thanks. of you. Thanks. On to the next.